boys, let's do this and let's jump back into the beautiful good old Kenshi. How's it going everybody? Welcome to the stream. I'm back! It's Monday and I hope you guys are all doing great. I hope you all had a great weekend. And now let's have some fun in the swamps as is tradition in the bestest Kenshi way possible. How's it going everybody? Welcome to the stream. It is nice to see you here, my friends. It has been a while. Yes, it yes it has. Yes, it has been a while. The daddy coke is back. As Steve said, hello daddy. How's it going, buddy? You had a great weekend? Well, that's good to hear. My weekend was also pretty decent. Also, couple announcements before we begin these shenanigans. Actually, first I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do today. So, last time Hashish made it out here at the edge of the border zone because we needed him to go buy an arm for our queen and also to make some money by selling the stolen goods to the skeletons because they were ready to pay more for the power cores and such that we have gotten last time, right? The goal for today is to grab Synth Steve, the big boy, and Heisenberg, who are chilling out here in the swamps, and have them rejoin out here in the border zone. So our goal is gonna be like this. We're gonna be building an army, but we're gonna be building an army at the edge of the swamps where we actually have a chance of fighting anybody and surviving, you know? Rommel, it's good to see that you have caught my stream. Always, oh. I somehow muted the music. Excuse me. Let me just make the music a bit less loud. All right. Better. Good. So that was the first part. That is the goal for today. We go to the edge of the swamps and we chill. We're gonna have to bring our food with us. Steve just decided to go eat. Uh, we have some more resources over here. We can grab some or sell some. We'll, we'll decide what we're gonna do with that in a second, while Heisenberg is still sleeping and healing, and everybody and their mother is still fighting out here in the swamps, because that's how you do it, you know? How to recruit characters. Um, I don't know, Tubbins, if you noticed. On Discord, we have a new section that Cry set up. Uh, let me see, what is it called? It's Kenshi Character Submission, basically. Just post in there, you know, the classic whatever you have, like name race gender preferred weapons armor all that stuff and if you want to a backstory then we can read it at some point you know so much trouble going through black desert and the acid rains with forex enemies i almost cried i see nothing wrong in there i don't see what could be wrong in the black desert not at all Yes, when more people get in, we can we can do stories. Or if you really uh, desire, we can do, you know, stories right away. Hello, Isaku. How's it going? Welcome. Now, two more things that I want to mention while we wait for Heisenberg to heal up, right? First thing is... You can now become channel members. I have gone full capitalism, and I have enabled channel membership on YouTube. So, those of you who've been watching my Twitch streams for like a year and a half now, and now that I'm doing them on YouTube, you can now kind of transfer your subscription from there to here and be a channel member you get as you as you are, you know, part of the membership for a month and two months and three months and all that stuff. You get new icons for that, you know, it's the, it's the old fedoras that we're using on Twitch as well. And you also get emotes. So, that's fun, and the more of you there are, the more emotes we can have. You know, the classic. Stories would be cool when we travel? Of course, we can definitely do that. As we travel and try not to get eaten by spiders, we can, we can talk stories, for sure. Now, uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention, it's a very special thing, very, very special thing. On Wednesday, it's my birthday. So... As I mentioned on Twitter, as I mentioned on Discord, I expect everybody that's here to get me at least three gifts, all right? At least three gifts. That's the rules. 
I don't make the rules, although I do, but I don't make the rules. That's the rules. Just so you know. <laughs> All right. Enough with the simping now and all that stuff. Let's see what we can actually do. Do we have any backpacks? Uh, I'm gonna see if Synth and Steve can maybe get some backpacks so we'll be able to transport some of the items that we have over here uh, to where we're going, to Mr. Hashish. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him! My plan worked perfectly well. I have managed to persuade one of you to be a simp. Thank you. Thank you, Slippin. Appreciate that. We have our first slim, boys. First simp. Let's go. Enjoy the early birthday gift. Oh, hell yeah. I am a master of manipulation. Look at that. You know, somebody could could even say that I have masterfully baited you into simping for me. Maybe somebody could even say that I'm a master at baiting. You know? The first simp on YouTube. Let's go. Manipulation 100. Yes. <laughs> Let's go, boys. There will be more on Twitch? No, it's not gonna be more on Twitch. Because on Twitch we're not allowed to say simp anymore. You know? It's not allowed, so we can't say that. Take it back, slipping. <laughs> the first. But is it gonna be the first of many? That's the question. Alright, we need we need backpacks. But which backpacks? So much money we have. We have some decent amount of money. This one's 8k? The big one, I guess. Uh we can grab. Maybe some cheap ones. Emperor's backpack. It could be decent and maybe one letter backpack. Probably don't need all of that, but you know, we can we can do that. And Synth can carry some stuff now. Let's bring this to Steve. Steve's gonna be happy. The first. <laughs> Finally caught you alive. I hope you out. It wasn't short of money. Sad this it doesn't go far. Now, I'll just say one thing. Lonnie. Thank you for being here, appreciate it. Second, all of those money, simping, capitalism jokes are jokes. If you have some money to throw at me, that's fine. If you don't have any money to throw at me, that's also fine. The main thing that matters to me is that you're here and we hang out and we have fun. All right, everything else is a bonus. That's how life is. That's how I treat this. All right, so never worry about anything like that. Do you think this Skelly Bro could be recruitable? Ooh. Steve. Oh, he won't talk to Steve. He will talk to Synth. Wait, Steve might not be able to talk to many people. Synth, chase him down. I want to see cats. Who doesn't? Who doesn't want to see cats? Cats are the best. Alright, if we can potentially recruit a Skelly Boy, I would like to recruit a Skelly Boy. Because it's gonna give us a bit more longevity when it comes to fighting. You know. Don't worry, we're slowly gonna catch up to him. It's fine. Swimming in the swamp. Yeah, that seems like a safe thing to do. Nothing bad could ha uh, happen when you do that. Hello, friend! Oh. He is 7.5k. I think we don't have that much money. Yeah, we... Oh, we're missing like... Just a bit. Like, just a bit. Alright, I want to see where he goes. In the meantime, we're going to quickly sell some extra stuff. Like, we can sell these. Might as well sell a Helmy. And make that extra amount of money. Steve, can you talk to people? I don't think Steve can actually talk to people. Where did he go already? He's here, he's here. Alright, since you follow. We're gonna follow him. We must not lose him. Steve, come over here. It's very important. It will be a detriment to your personal well-being. I don't see it as that. I see it as you being cool guy. Awesome dude. All that stuff, you know. Thank you. 
I uh, really do appreciate. Like Jada Smith, I can take a joke. I'm be sending Will Smith your way. All right, all right. It's, it's I look. I'll be real with you. I know really nothing about the situation between Will and Jada, so I really can't comment on that. All I've seen was that slap, and that's that's all. And I don't know enough about it to actually go into anything there. So I'm terribly sorry. I need to sell my goods somewhere, but I don't know where because everybody's just smashed up potato. Maybe I can do that over there. Heisenberg the first? Yes. Yeah, I'm not a capitalist. We all know that I live in Europe and I live in a Slavic country, which basically makes me a communist. As at least my American friends would call me. Oh, this guy's got some useful stuff. He's dead. Ain't that a shame? It would be a shame if somebody were to take uh, all his gear. You know, it would really be a shame. I didn't take the pants, sure. Really, really terrible shame. There's lots of people in prison out here. What do you guys have? Oh, money. You will never see me. Perfection. So stealthy. <laughs> the slap. Yeah, the slap. Slippers, you were amazing in the last series, actually. Really, really good dude in the last series. We do have enough money now to go... Wait, now we can't talk to this motherfucker anymore? Come on. Oh, Steve now can talk to him. Interesting. Oh. Wait, he wants less money now? Ho ho! Do we have a skeleton on the list, boys? Do we? Uh, I don't know, actually, because I, I didn't look at the submissions much. So I will take a look at what Cry has made over here. Greenlander. Skeleton. We do have Skeleton. Yes, this is gonna be Claymore. He wants to be Combat Unit GX6. You know what? This seems, this seems decent. Some decent. It's fine. Jada has changed that he has been... That he was a great guy? I don't know. Look, I don't know. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, my boy Claymore is gonna join us. Let's randomize him a bit. Fancy name for a service bot? Very true. Alright, what kind of stance are we gonna give this Skelly, bro? At least somebody that's not gonna eat all of our food like Steve's gonna, you know? Thinks the guy lunch money. He was... Well, he was napping in a prison, like... What do you want me to do? Sometimes a man's gotta do what a man does! And let's go, we got Claymore in, and he actually got some decent stats. I think between Steve and Claymore... We're gonna have our defensive squad over here. You know? Now, I don't think we have any repair kits, which is a slight problem, but it's, you know... Shouldn't happen, so even to the best of us. But anyway, Claymore's in. Uh, let me just quickly check. Let me just quickly check if he needed anything special. Light or medium armor is fine, he wants a katana. Alright. Good to know, let's go back. Claymore was not the name? What was the name? Oh, that's the name! Combat Unit GX6 is the name. Oh, you see, I didn't didn't read that properly. That's fine, we're gonna rename him. We're gonna rename him. Yeah, it's fine. Time to see Coco Rage. I've never raged. What are you talking about? Oh, Claymore also has money. We're gonna, we're gonna steal his money. We're gonna rename the boy. Don't you worry about it. looking decent. Does he have a heal kit? Do we have any extra heal kits? I think that's like a bit of a problem for us right now. All right, let's let's bring Mr. Claymore uh, in here. I know there should be there should be doctor in here. He got beaten up a couple times last time, but we we saved him. Hopefully he's up and running right now. There we go. Doctor's here. 
Let's go, let's go talk to Dr. We can read him. Coco Rage never exists. What are you talking about? It's not even, it's not even a thing. Doctor will never die. That's how it is. Alright, so combat unit GX6. Combat unit GX6. Perfect. Let's go. What a man, what a myth, what a legend. Good, how's uh, Heisenberg doing? Heisenberg is slowly healing, so it's gonna be decent. He does have high grade Helmy, which is good for him. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a Swamper Belt Trader. I would love to have these belts, but Swampers are our friends, so we're not stealing from them, you know? Great swords. We have some big old weapons. We are using new weapon dissemination mods, so there should be pretty decent big weapons out there. Well, these guys are just throwing people out now. Is that how it is? Do they have anything good in them? Twin blades. What is a katan? Katan two wakizashi's there. That wouldn't be too bad to have. Those are faction uniforms. All right, synth. Stealthy are you if we take the lantern off? It's really me stealthy, nobody's gonna see that. Perfection. Uh, take this, don't really need the rest. Yeah. Come on, don't commit a crime. Don't commit a crime! Alright, nobody saw that. Good stuff. Combat unit, we got a heal kit for you. Let's go. And he wanted to have a katana. Let's give him a Vakizashi. It's better than nothing. And we're gonna give Steve a Vakizashi. I know these are not very good defensive weapons, but they are the weapons we have. So now that's gonna be it. Eisenberg is gonna not have a Tachi or a Topper. We're gonna give him something else. Refitted blade, maybe. Yeah, he can have that. We're gonna we're gonna sell the rest. And we do have for Heisenberg. We actually have a dark leather shirt he can have. Look at that. Decent, decent. Oh yeah, there's gonna be cool options. Don't worry about it. It's just gonna take a bit. How's it going, Ularium? Welcome, welcome. Yes, I do have triangle bandits. I don't find them very annoying. I, I find them very easy to, to uh, play against because they are very low level early on, so you kind of get to beat up on them. And then later on, if you want to, you can level them up so they can get stronger and stronger and you have some stronger opponents, which I appreciate. So I, I actually like the Triangle Bandits. I think they're pretty decent. Look at how badass Steve is. Damn, son. Alright, you two. Where's Synth? Oh, Synth went to eat. Alright, Steve and Combat Unit, come on over here. We're gonna figure out what we want to sell. Oh my, the racetrack is... <laughs> Fighting. Oh no! <laughs> oh, the beast of war, the swan biscuit, the chopper is on the ground. It took out no name down. Ruffian as well. But these black shifters are getting eaten. Yes, go racetrack animals. Woohoo! Stevie is indeed badass, very much so. Ben of Blades. Dude is breaking in here. And we have some uh, white eyebrows attacking. Also, since when are white eyebrows using the samurai armor? Unless that's the lighter version of it. Fucking up our friend Swampers. There's a hound with a cool backpack. Combat bro. Excuse me, it's called combat unit. You better learn that, man. We do have the Fuma Shuriken. 12 kilo. We could give this Fuma Shuriken to combat unit. I mean, if this isn't the perfect weapon, I don't think I've ever seen a perfect weapon. Just look at this combat unit. With that Fuma Shuriken. That's a big beast. It almost looks like you can fly with that. And you love to see it. Alright, uh, in the morning we have to sell all of this. We're not gonna... 
I would kind of like to keep that, maybe. I'm not gonna sell food, are we? Oh yes, he's a ninja now. He's a proper ninja. But, excuse me, I would like to put this meat in here. I don't think the raw meat goes in there, no. Um, the fabrics can be very useful. We do have repair kits, which is great. Combat unit can get one, and I guess synth can get one. Everybody to be roboticizing now. Of course, Ashish woke up, because he's, he's a silly billy, but that's fine. He doesn't need food or anything like that, so he's good. He's good! What else are we gonna bring with us and or sell? I think there's no point really keeping most of these things around here. For now. I mean, this is this is our place. We're gonna be here. We're gonna live here. But not yet. We do have rain stuff. Hey, maybe Heisenberg could use a bit of that range as his secondary stuff. You know. Give Heisenberg some range shenanigans going on. That wouldn't be so bad. I had synth at range, but synth is missing uh an arm, so probably not that. There you go, I think I think we're gonna be fine. And your nickname is Big Ass. <laughs> Big Ass Steve. I mean he is. We made him much smaller than he was, right? So there's that. We made him much smaller. He was much bigger in the past. Now, Hashish, my friend, what can you do? We could sell some more stuff that Hashish is uh, carrying around. He doesn't need all of this. What happened? Twitch where? Twitch is still where Twitch is. We're just not doing stuff on Twitch right now. You know. Or, well, I'm gonna be doing stuff on Twitch on Wednesday. Which is when we're gonna be uh, playing some stuff with Shrimp. Don't know what yet. But we were talking about playing this as a rap or something like that. A space game-ish co-op. So we'll see. Too easy or cheesy. Now, the thing is. The range thing that we have over here. Let's see who's got that. Steve. It's just uh, Dash's toothpick, you know? It's a, it's one of the small ones that go into, like, secondary weapon slot. And it's just there to poke a bit. You're not actually gonna do am any damage with that. You're probably gonna just shoot your friends in the back, you know? But it's there as an option. Of course, ranged weapons are hella cheesy. Uh, that's why we are gonna use them in the future. But not right now. It's-a me, Erman! Hello, Erman from Siberia. How's it going, buddy? It's, uh, it's good to see you around. I hope uh, your life is good. And all that good fun. I mean, you're gonna get the crossbow, which is gonna be a secondary crossbow. Alright, you know what? We're gonna speed the game up now, because we are basically just waiting until the morning. Till the morning comes, so we can go sell our goods. And once our goods are sold, we're gonna go on an adventure. It's snowing outside? Damn. We actually had snow on Saturday. You know, April snow over here. It's not a thing that happens. It snowed like crazy for like three hours in the morning. But it it didn't stay, you know? It just it was just gone. We were just gone. But it was interesting to see, that's for sure. Please tell me there's a shopkeeper around that's not dead. Are you still sleeping? It's like crippled. Oh, there it is. Can we... You know what? I'm I'm not gonna go heal you, because... Yeah. I don't wanna. You haven't seen snow in 10 years. Oh, so game is gonna crash now. That's good. Well, that's uh that's a classic Kenshi thing right there. Classic Kenshi thing. You can't have Kenshi without Kenshi crashing at least once. Good times. 
Max military so will be drafted if they decide to continue. That is unfortunate to hear, my friend. Sorry to hear that. And I hope you guys can, you know, figure out things on your side. Classic Kenshi experience. Gotta crash. You know, I've got to remember to um, say more often. Always quick say before you do something. Very true. Very true. I kind of uh, fell out of that experience or that habit because I haven't played Kenshi for three months. All, otherwise, I always had my uh, finger on F5. Oh, well. We probably didn't get rolled too far back, right? We had an auto save, I'm sure, after recruiting uh, our unit. Combat unit. So we should be, we should be fine. Now all we have to do is wait for the next 10 minutes for the game to load. A quick save to you then, smart man. See on Twitch we had that redeemable thing for a couple of goat points where you could remind me to save. And she devour so cool, yes it is. Imagine guys in like 15 years from now We'll be able to play Kenshi too. Huh? In like the year of our Lord Beep 2037, we're gonna be seeing a brand new Kenshi. Kenshi too. Ain't that gonna be amazing? That's gonna be good times. I don't remember, Crazy Man, what's my autosave intervals. I I really do not remember. Alright, uh, we lost three hours, basically. Three hours. No, two hours. We lost two hours. And... That was when I talked to Hashish and he went to sell some stuff. Alright. That's it, 60 years. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Good stuff. I don't think I sold anything else. So this is fine. She should chill. And yeah, these guys are ready. We just need to uh, speed up and wait for like a couple hours. All you need is a NASA computer to run it at 120 FPS. If Kenshi 2 is going to be in VR. Mm -hmm. Like I have... Okay, I don't have a NASA computer. But it's kind of close. It's a pretty good computer. It does not affect at all how Kenshi swamps work. Like, at all. Doesn't improve it a thing. So, you know, that's fun. Is it still Kenshi 2 if Kenshi doesn't have a beep? Well, that's a good question. That is a very good question. Potentially. Maybe. Probably not. Are you playing Skyrim too? Interesting. Who was uh, here last time saying that I should play Skyrim? Alright, I, by the way, I saved now that I'm talking to this guy. And now I didn't break. Good, good. Uh, but I do remember on stream, on Twitch when we were stream our last series, we had an issue with some breaks when talking to shopkeepers. So I wonder if that's happening again. We'll have to potentially do something about that. Armor King is new. Armor King is new beep. Yeah, he's saving lives with armor ring, and uh, we all know that based on his backstory, he should be basically setting up shop at the point when the the previous game is going to be happening. So it's going to be interesting to see. Very interesting to see. Of course he's out of range. Heisenberg, come on, bro. Alright, this is fine. Stuff sold. Let's see if Heisenberg can sell his uh, things to anybody. Anybody left alive anywhere? Who are you? A vagrant. You know, how much do we get for this thing? 62. I don't want it. Come over here, Heisenberg. Healer VR experience, Jesus. <laughs> oh man. The swamp is a nest of lag. 
The swamp is a nest of happiness. Don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. Alright, Heisenberg is gonna get a Vakizashi. And we promised him this as well. Perfection. Yeah, we're looking good. Alright. Skyrim's a good idea. Uh, Steve, you were saying that? Okay, Skyrim might be an interesting idea. But I don't know if it's a good idea. Wait, these guys can wear shirts. Just the high shirts, probably. It's just... I don't know, dude. I don't know. Alright, uh, we need to remove some of Steve's encumbrance and then we are fine. Like, as I was saying last time, everybody and their mother has played Skyrim before, right? So, I don't really see me adding anything to the game if I play it. Like, at all. You know? Alright, our slowest run speed is now 18, which is pretty decent for the swamps, I would say. I wonder if you can recruit Armor King as he just started his business and may want to become a traveling salesman. That would actually be amazing. That would actually be amazing. Oh shit, I forgot food, of course. There's... It's, I knew there's gonna be one thing I forget, and that was food. The most important thing. Good thing Sing reminded me. Look, I've played Sky I played through Skyrim twice. Both was like in the first couple of months after the game released, right? So I haven't played it for over ten years besides some like half an hour shenanigans when I checked it out and then decided the game is still the same as it was ten years ago. Even though they, they added, like, I don't know what they added to the game. I really don't know what or why they added so much to the game. But you know, that's how it is. So... Okay, she can carry this. See, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Enjoy your tea, Steve. People with Skyrim needs the player because the initial NPCs can kill dragons by themselves just fine. Can they? Interesting. I was not aware of that. They're so badass, aren't they? Alright, you know what? Combat unit? I need you to go sell some of this crap. Do that. Because I forgot about food. Can't leave food behind. Lettuce dealers? Kind of sus. Hello, Moko. How's it going, buddy? Uh, yes, we are going to be selling the green products from the swamps to the greater, uh, to greater world. And uh, I think lettuce is a perfect name for all the... Oh, don't sell that. All the greenery that we'll be able to sell from here. You know? All the greenery. Whatever they're gonna do, cyberpunk level body modification, probably not. Uh, I doubt it. I, I don't think so. Like, I think what we can expect from Kenshi 2 is basically what we know in Kenshi 1. But better. I don't think they're gonna experiment on the whole formula too much. I think they're pretty happy with, you know, how the original turned out, so... I think that's gonna be that. All right, now we can we can close this. This is private. The lattice dealers. Let's follow Sin and let's go. Also, I'm gonna make a separate squad for Hashish, just so we don't uh, accidentally attack him. Also, I really don't like this. Please, let's turn uh, the military stuff on. 
Beautiful. Let's go, boys. Play with Requiem? Souls like mod. Oh, interesting. So, a Souls like combat in Skyrim. That intrigues me, actually. I'm not gonna lie. That seems kind of freaking cool. Alright, we're gonna go from town to town, just skipping through, I think. Because we're gonna need some safety. Perhaps Heisenberg can convince Synth to sell all drugs? No, no, no. We are not drug dealers. We sell that as green products. That's the only thing, you know? That's all we want to do. Where I'm from? I am from Europe, a Slavic country called Slovenia. There you go. You're a psychopath? Good, Jackson. Good. <laughs> you check it out, Soul Ash? Soul Ash? I don't think so. Also, how's it going, uh, Mr. Miller? Mulder? M Mulder? Mulder? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that properly. I'm sorry. You want to improve on all cars, but not too much. Yeah, yeah, you don't want it to lose identity because Kenshi is like the one... The one and only game that it's like that. No other game is like Kenshi, you know? It's just, it's just a unique thing. Completely. Steve, that's a great idea. You should play Kenshi. In fact, if listening to me distracts you from playing Kenshi, you should probably choose to play Kenshi rather than listen to me, you know? Because you can always go back and watch me or watch this thing later on. Not even an issue. Oh, they finally opened those gates. They weren't open last time. Hello, Eternal Lee. How's it going? You know what? This bar over here used to have a cooler recruit. Let's go figure out if that still exists. We're gonna send Heisenberg in here. He seems like a trustworthy uh, person. Slow ends for Swamp Jesus. <laughs> I'll listen to my boy Coco. Well, as you should. As you should. This man is watching me. That's fine. Are you guys all just casino players? Because that has been casinoed. Toothpick of the Bard thugs. Mm, no recruits, maybe? There's Silver Shade. There you go. Silver Shade is a unique recruit in this town. We could grab Silver Shade. And also Dr. Chung. Both of these are unique recruits out of here. What could possibly go wrong having uh, adding some boys? How about that? Is this Coco's art? I never do art. You should know that. He actually seen me do art. One of his arts that we checked, one of my arts that we checked last time was actually art of Ermin. Hello, Silver Shade. Dr. Chungus. <laughs> Alright, we're taking Silver Shade. Do we have any uh any boys on the on the list? Any hivers on the list? We do have Big Bubba. Hive drone or soldier. There you go. We can do that. I do not draw hens wearing ties, okay? I only have that in real world. It looks kind of like Sen's profile picture. <laughs> Alright. 
Let's get Silver Shade in, boys. Uh, this is gonna be Big Bubba. Big Bubba needs to be uh, here. Big Bubba wanted to have what? Club or a saber? Oh, I don't really have a club or a saber for him right now. You know, it just looks like a Big Bubba to me. It's kind of impatient in his life, you know? Should I take Kang and Ruka or just one of them? I have two shanks and need a recommendation. Dude, both of those guys are legit. You should totally take them both. No questions asked. They're just awesome, man. Uh, Big Baba is gonna be decent for running. I think we're gonna leave Big Chungus around. I'm just gonna take Big Baba. You know. Because he's cool and all that, all that. Oh, he actually starts with two, two standard first aid kits. Would you look at that? Ain't that a beauty? What's this? Combatine is fine. He's gonna run just fine. Now, do we have a weapon for him? We do not have a weapon for him. Which means that Heisenberg is no longer gonna be ranged. And Big Bubba's gonna uh, take that Dash's toothpick off of him. This is fine. And for Clody, we can get him cloning later on. Not even a problem. Not even a problem. Alright. Follow Synth, and let's make our way towards Roth next. Make him big. He's, he's a big boy. He's a tall boy. But he can't be Steve-sized, you know? It's not allowed. Alright, could you guys uh, catch up? Bubba, we're not gonna wait for you. Alright. Keep going. Doing it now, let's go. Uh, who's, this? who's out here talking? Swamp Ninja's doing Swamp Ninja stuff. As is tradition. As is tradition. Well, we have to be careful. We know where we are. We know where we're going. We're eating dried bristle flaps, and that's all that matters. And there's a tech hunter out here. He could potentially help us if we get smacked around. Big Bubba's gonna be our cook. So he's uh, Bubba Gum from Forest Gum. <laughs> uh, I like Bubba. But I don't think uh, Silver Shade or our new Big Bubba looks at all like Bubba Gum. Or, you know, the Bubba from there. I mean, Big Bubba, you can you can speed up a bit, can you? There you go. You got this. He's hatching up. He's learning. Swamp soup, swamp combo, swamp stew. Yeah, you know you can you can say these names, but they all taste the same. They taste like swamp, you know. And swamp, swamp is love. Or maybe it isn't. Bubba was dark colored. So, Big Bubba is more like Steve, right? More like Steve. I like I like him though. I cannot imagine us getting safely out of the swamps. So, I I expect some shenanigans to happen. Especially since uh, Hashish had all kinds of problems getting out of the swamps. So we'll see what happens. Maybe, just maybe, people are too busy fighting each other, so... Not even a problem. That would be the best, you know? Seeing people fight each other, then maybe you can steal from them. We're also totally cool. Synth is still soon going to get uh, her new arm, which is going to be amazing. Alright, who's fighting out here? Who's fighting who? Did you guys beat up? Hounds? Beat up Swampers, of course they did. 
I don't know why it was made in such a way that all these guys just hate each other completely. Alas. It was made in that way. <laughs> yeah, that weapon is badass, isn't it? <laughs> you know, he's like a uh, Apache attack helicopter uh, thing on here. It's like he's got rotor blades. It's like he's gonna take flight soon. It's extremely oversized, right? But also kind of cool in some way, shape, or form. Oh, look! It's the spiders. So it has begun. Alright, Synth, I know what you're doing. You're gonna try to swim right now. I'd appreciate if you didn't do that and we just outrun the spiders because we have the speed. We don't really need to worry about these spiders. I'm gonna manually tell you where to go because I know that she would go over here, swim around like to here and then try to cross. They do that. They're special people like that, you know? Bailey, let it rip. Let it rip, man. I really would prefer not to fight uh, blood spiders right now. We're gonna go out there into, like, on the edge over here, the border zone. We're gonna fight bandits rather than animals. I think that's safer for all of us. Us and the bandits. Because we are definitely gonna get beaten up. But at least we're not gonna get eaten, you know? Which is the important part out here. Very, very important part. Uh, also, apparently, there's a camp nearby. A hostile camp? I see it not. Alright. Whatever. Let's get out of here. Let's uh, go hang out with your sheesh. And let's get Sin, or Swamp Queen. A new arm, which I think is just gonna be uh, glorious and beautiful and amazing. And all that. Oh, you know what? Now that we're traveling, we could have read a backstory or two. Let's see. Wasn't it the uh, Slippers? Was the first person who posted something? But Slippers didn't post the backstory, right? Swamp Beakers? There's always gotta be Swamp Beakers. Who would be... <laughs> oh, I see, I see your backstory for Heisenberg. He's bald and need to get funds to buy a new toupee. Amazing. Ah, oh, there you go. We got blue cleavers. Faster than us. This is gonna be slightly unfortunate. Well, we're gonna uh, we're gonna try to mostly avoid them. Oh, they're gonna try shooting at us. It's actually not the worst. You guys keep shooting at us. It's fine. And if only a couple want to come, I'll gladly fight you. Oh, the real story is on YouTube. Alright, whoa, what's going on over here, boys? What are crabs doing out here? What a... What? Why are there so many crabs out here? Crab people, crab people, look like crab, taste like people. Or the other way around. Right, we have three following us. If we injure them, there's a good chance that the other guys are gonna come and try to help them. Let's see if we can pull them a bit further away. Uh, Hashish, make your way down here. Get him, boys! Also, um, get the other guy. Oh, nice shot there, big bubba. Precise shots. Ooh, he, he hit you bad. 
All right, uh, Steve, I'm down here. Get him in melee. Nice damage there, Steve. Boys, our first real fight. Amazing. Steve had a father who was a world-renowned warrior. Oh, I knew they were gonna call him back. I knew it. As soon as somebody was uh, injured. All right, Big Bubba, come over here. Good hitting there. Good hitting. All right, let's 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 hear this. As we want Steve. Steve had a father who was a world-renowned warrior. And at the battle where Steve was protecting his queen, his father took a bolt for him. He continued fighting, but died a bit after. That was Steve's father, a world-renowned warrior. Oh my god. Come and looking smooth? Hell yeah, dude. And now Steve is trying to become as strong as his father by stealing anything he can get his hands on from this dude over here. As it should be. Oh, look at these. Letter feed bandages. Fist protection and martial arts bonus. Interesting. Alright, no, no, no. You guys keep beating this guy up. Big Bubba just needs some clothing, you know? I want those. You can have a bandana. I want these. I want that. Oh my god, you look, look awful, dude. I'm sorry. Alright, Big Bubba. Let's make your way towards there. Uh, Hashish, you might want to stay at the border zone. Anybody got injured in the leg? No. Alright, now we uh, start running. Now we start running and we don't stop running. You know what? We took down two, boys. We took down two. Easy. Crabs, come help us. This is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a bit micromanagey, you know, it's fine, no problems whatsoever, depends on how far they wanna, uh, follow us, come on, swing there, buddy, let's have a swing, there you go, perfect, now go that way, big bubba. Heisenberg story. Alright, I'm gonna take a look at it. Just just give me a second so we can, uh, you know, maybe survive this. Okay, this man. Heisenberg's story was that he was affected by the toxic fog gas that caused him to lose his hair. As a result, he needed to join a group to make some money. For now, he has a raggedy toupee made of fine... Glorious? Made of fine glorious? Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Made of fine glorious. Alright, how many are still following us? Like one dude? Turn around and beat him up. Na 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 na. Turn around, big bubba. Sin. Oh, of course, Synth is doing martial arts because she's missing right arm, of course. Yeah, beat him up. Beat up the noobs. Easy, all right, Big Bubba. Come down. No, 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 everybody calm down. Come over here, heal up. We don't need to go chasing down any other boys. We won our first legit fight. We never ran away. I don't like how this looks. So even though this is worse, I will replace it. Is that definitely take the wooden sandals because I want them. Take this as well. Definitely take this. Yeah, boys. Let's go. Healed up. Let's repair a uh, big old unit. We're gonna be good. No, it just it it just said to pay made of fine, and that was it. 
You probably need to uh, break uh, the messages apart. See you guys? We did well. Easy fighting there. Easy fighting. That's gonna be our story today. We're gonna be fighting. Getting our army uh, done and dusted. Getting ready to be the most amazing fighters ever. That's what is gonna happen. That's what needs to happen. We, of course, don't have enough repair kits for everybody. Oh, great! A combat unit is at minus two at robotics, so basically he kills himself. Probably better if I give his repair kit to somebody else, but... Oh, well. That's fine. Alright, let's follow uh, Synth. Does this guy have a bounty? He does not. I just follow Synth and let's go meet up with my boy Hashish. Looks like there's some fighting happening over uh, on this side as well. Who is fighting who out here? Uh, Hill Marauders. Deck Hunters are fighting Hill Marauders. There's a Hill Marauder boss. Hashish, come down here. I want to see if you can maybe loot something off of this boss boy. This boss boy might have something useful for us. You need to go all the way around to do this, don't you? It's kind of obnoxious. But oh well. Ri, you're going all the way down here. Ooh, skeletons. Hey guys, do you, do you think we should buy uh, a Steve? Skeleton Steve? That could be kind of cool. Imagine us having a Skeleton Steve. Alright, let's go loot these Hill Marauders before they put them in prison. Who knows what kind of good stuff we can get off of them. Who knows? <laughs> yes? Maybe. Let's just say maybe for now. The problem with the Steve would be that he would slow us down significantly, you know? Oh look, we made it! Let's go, boys. We made it. Big Baba got a hit in the head, so he's gonna go rest. Synth, I guess, can go rest. And Hashish. Oh, look, this guy's got standard gray stuff. He's a boss. Sweet. All right, Hashish, make it up here. We need the goods. Synth, you go, you go up here and go rest as well. Rest and recuperate. Steve is fine, Heisenberg is fine, Combat Unit is fine. They're all good. And Hashish can soon rejoin the squad. What a man, what a unit. He even has a West, a West. That helmet we can give to Heisenberg, who's got... No, he's got high grade. Maybe we'll give it to Big Bubba. Our Big Bubba is our ranger. I don't know if I want to give this to Hashish. But maybe Hashish is going to have that. Like, that helmet seems like bigger than half of Hashish, actually. What else do we have here? Or who else do we have here? White Eyebrow? You know what? The important part over here is, is that we get as... Oh, these guys have monies. As many first aid kits. Why do they have... Oh, look at these bandanas. Give you a bonus to combat skills, athletics, combat speed, stealth, dodge. Interesting. Might take that. And if you can get some more heal kits, I will be happy. Oh, you know what? Remind me. What we need to do is... Oh yeah, they have light samurai armor. Is go buy some glasses for us. Looks good? Hell yeah, it does. Oh, look at that. And Katan... One cleaver. We'll take that. Why not? 
Why the hell not? These guys all have money. All right, that's that's enough. Let's go. Let's go up here. Let's go uh, give Synth our queen. We'll finally get a new armor. Armor? Arm? Just arm, not armor. And we can get Steve that bandana. I wonder how that's gonna look. I do wonder. Standby boots are decent, but it doesn't give you an option to run faster, which is a free emblem. Alright, boys. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Synth. Let's go. Oh, yeah, boys. Look at that. Look at how bad our, badass our queen looks. You love to see it. You love to see it. Alright, Hashish. Let's give this to Steve. What does that give Steve? <laughs> it's a dark bandana on top of his head. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a bit weird, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, he was made for this, 100%. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a bit strange. Give this to Big Bubba. I want to see how it looks on him. You can't really see it on him. It's it's below. So on Big Bubba it works. And on Combat Unit? A Combat Unit already has a backpack. Heisenberg. That's Heisenberg's fine. You can have that. Steam looking drip. Yeah, that bandana fits so well on him. 100%. Alright, you know what? We have some um, armored rags. Which I think we can give to combat unit. Because he's kind of our tanky boy. We're going to make him taunt. You know. Combat unit looking like a combat unit now. Synth looks like an emo girl is it because of her haircut or her derpy glasses oh you tell me man uh the clear we're we gonna sell we do have a katan one katana uh we can give that to big bubba so he's got something so he's got a weapon you know, it's fine. We have a decent amount of heal kits now. Makes me happy. Steve, give this to Big Bubba, our ranger. I uh, just need to make sure we're not over-encumbered. Uh, let's give this tabard and pants. I guess we're going to give the tabard to Hashish. And the pants we can give to Big Bubba, maybe? I think they're slightly better. And he looks dope. He looks extremely dope. <laughs> All right, uh, it's gonna be time we start trading. And actually, let's make uh, let's let's check if there's any recruits we could get in here. You know, because we we all know we need more recruits. We could also go towards the uh, Black Desert City. And recruit some skeletons there. That could be an option. Bunch of pacifiers in here. Mercs. Defense. Nothing really amazing out here. Bunch of Highlanders. Hmm. Anybody running around? Just constant. Constant battles out here. Doesn't seem like there's any recruits. There's people falling down over here. Amazing. Uh, there's a dude crawling out. Black Desert Hell? It's, it's not hell. What do you mean? We could burn. Well, we could. Definitely. 
Yeah, I think that's appropriate. We, we don't really want to go ahead and recruit somebody that's like in their 60s or something like that, you know? And combat unit is like up to 30s, but you know, it's still very kind of low, so I don't think that really matters in the long run. But yeah. Don't go into the Black Desert City? Why not? We get Agnum and Beep. I think we have to get Beep. Like, we have Hashish. We can get Beep. We can also get Cyber Beep. You know? Hashish, Beep, and Cyber Beep. What is there not to love? Beep is mandatory. Uh, you could say so. But yeah, I don't see any recruits out here. So I'm just gonna go trade our extra stuff away. Uh, I mean, we can get Agno for sure. I see, I see no problem in that. Wait, why is combat unit suddenly so encumbered? Oh, because he's got that, of course. I think we need to buy some more backpacks. If we are to keep carrying all the stuff with us. Um, I will give these to Heisenberg. I'm gonna sell his tab eye boots. I'm gonna sell this. Uh, let's actually just sell these bandanas and I guess we can buy improvised backpacks. That's gonna be decent enough. They're not very good for encumbrance reduction. But they're basically what they have over here, so... We're gonna do that. They're also not terrible for the combat stuff. They're bad for stealth, for sure. But at least this is gonna allow our boys to carry some extra items. You know. That means a lot. Alright, let's get everybody down here. Cyberbeam, hell yeah, dude. Hey Gage, how's it going, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Who doesn't like Cyber Beep? It's just Beep, but also cool. I mean, what we could do, guys, is we go towards the Deadlands, we get some Skellies over there, and then we go to Great Desert, De uh, Great Desert where we can find Cyber Beep. Cyber Beep is there, so we could do that, run, get some extra recruits, because, you know, the title of today's episode is Creating an Army, right? We're trying to make an army, and I think that could be uh, a good option there. If we are to create an army. But first, we need to make sure Hashish and Combat Unit are not carrying as much as they're carrying right now. So we're gonna have to do something like that. Alright, let's do this way. She can still run 18 miles per hour, so this is fine. If you can keep it at 18, the lowest, I think we're gonna be pretty good. Let's combat unit that now, 15. Alright, let's um, do a trade over here. So we go into Cannibal Lands and get eaten. Yeah, it's, you know, I'll keep that in mind, Slippers. I'll keep that in mind. I might not do it right now, but, you know, seems reasonable. Completely and utterly reasonable. Yeah, let's, uh, let's keep Steve there. Eisenberg. Eisenberg could definitely carry a bit more. How's combat unit? 16 run speed? Oh yeah, he's got the armor rack skirt as well. I guess we can take that off while we run around. And that brings you up to 18. Alright, let's uh... Let's see if we can keep you at 18, if you can interview some more. Definitely. Alright, we'll do something like this. Uh, actually, give this thing to Big Bubba. 
Uh, I forgot these are heavy. These are heavy. Alright. Briorius? Okay. Only reason I ever go into Cannibal Terry is for the sweet Grand Wizard gear. Favorite armor in the game. Is that with the mods or without mods, And Yeah, we'll we'll draw a file raw meat. I don't think we're gonna need it because we have uh, enough other stuff and we don't have that many people that eat it. You know. It is how it is. Let's grab that. Let's grab this. Uh, I can sell these as well. I'm just making sure we can get some weight down over here. Yeah, we are like that. You know, I'm making sure everybody can run at 18. Oh, Heisenberg can carry a lot more. I forgot about that. Of course, my boy Heisenberg. He's at 16. You know, he's, he's got a problem carrying this oil drum. Which is pretty damn heavy. Alright, Hashish. We're almost there, buddy. We need to do strength training at some point. Yeah, kind of will expansion mod definitely. All right, all right. Yeah, I thought so. I thought it's gonna be something like that. Kind of will Grand Wizard gear is based off a very bad organization. I mean, I mean, I see what you you might be saying, but you know, it's not the, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. Like it certainly looks amazing. I wouldn't say it's the best, though. Screw the cannonballers. Alright, guys, calm down. No need to screw the cannonballers. They're, they're nice people. Also, we're ready. We're gonna follow the queen. And let's make our way to the Deadlands. What could possibly go wrong, boys? So instead of doing training we're gonna go recruit some new dudes i like the idea of that we only have 7k which is gonna give us like one skeleton which means what we can do is take a quick detour from here to like up here rob a place and sell some stuff you know, we could do that. Of course, we don't have any acid protection on most of these people, so... That's gonna be a slight problem, but... Have we ever been afraid of any such problems? I don't think so. So I think that what we can do... Is we go here... Recruit one skelly... Pop here into the Iron Valleys... Get some good stuff... Go back down, sell the good stuff... Maybe take a look at this one as well, crack that, crack that one open... Yeah, we're gonna go greedy, boys. We're gonna go greedy. Many deaths adventure. No deaths, you know. The cannibal fella. We do have a chance to recruit cannonballs ourselves, you know. For them, have immunity. Uh, one, two, three. You are correct, actually. Four of them do have immunity. Uh, we we have forty percent. 50, we have 60% assets on Heisenberg, actually. I don't remember dark leather shirts, spiked helmets, mercenary leather armor having acid protection, or half pants. So we got that. 15, 25, and we have 35% protection on Synth. What's this one? This one is 60. Uh, we're gonna do a switcheroo. Like this. Ashish is gonna go ninja. Synth is gonna go uh, Wanderer's ta Tabard. Which gives her 80% protection. But also makes Hashish the slowest. So we're gonna all follow Hashish now. But yeah, I think that's actually a pretty good idea. We're just fine. So who's hanging out here? 
bunch of escaped slaves. Who the fuck did you escape? Whoa! Alright! Alright! Seems, uh... Like a battle there. Some mountain bandits. I don't know who our friends are. Who's the green boys over here? But a bunch of mountain bandits having fun out there. Seems decent. Get a heavy Meitu blade. We're not quite ready for Meitu blades, are we? We got that going for us, which is nice. Ooh! Do you guys think these dudes would be particularly happy seeing our skeletons? Yeah, I don't think they would. So we're gonna do... Oh, oh these guys would be pretty happy seeing anybody. Yeah, we're gonna need to um, thread some needles out here. You know? Ain't nobody gonna see us. This is fine. That is fine. Let's just go. We're brave. No stag yet. We stag. Your message about Meitu delegation. Oh, how is Meitu delegation gonna work out? Uh, I'm open to suggestions because on Twitch we had the buy Meitu thing, right? Which we don't have over here since we don't have gold points over here. So I'm open to suggestions. All right, Dylan. Enjoy, enjoy the start, buddy. Stag was next on the list. Yeah, but I think Stag is a human, isn't it? I saw the list somewhere. Uh, I don't know where Stag is. Stag is male or none. Any except Hiver or Shaq. Ah, I did not know that. Okay. I was just looking. We recruited a skeleton and a Hiver. And I was looking who's the, the skeleton on the list. I didn't see any or none. That's fine. We're going for more skeletons, by the way. Uh, why is this dude over here? Wait, where is he? He's got 80 in stats. He's also naked. Who would have thought that Skinner's Rome has become so dangerous? I said that since I blessed you with an early birthday gift, I may get a chance to snag one. So, your suggestion is bribes. I like it. Yes. If you want me to, Blades, bribe me. Watching Coco play Kenshi while playing RimWorld. I mean, it would be hard to find better games to play and watch. So, good shit, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want people reserving the Meitus. Because I think the last time we had a rule, when we got a Meitu, you were able to buy it, but not before. So, now we can do whenever we get a Meitu. Blade, we... Yeah, we have some kind of a raffle or something. Uh, yeah, basically, Stag, we're actually going for that one. We're gonna see if we can recruit that one. Just need to make it there alive. Have you ever played Mountain Blade? Yes! I do have the Bannerlord uh, series on YouTube from uh, when it released. I did a series. So, you know, you can watch that. Also, look at the big things having fun with the Holy Nation. Seems like fun. Also, I think we're gonna avoid that. No. It's not gonna be reserved for you, especially not you. You're definitely not getting an Eagle's Cross. Like, we all know how that is. You always just attempt to shoot your friends. We don't want none of that. Also, I'm taking screenshots of those bad dudes. You should get the queen in, in here, in the frame. You know. Such a queen and all that stuff. There you go. Alright, Hashish, lead the way, buddy.
He was gonna be your second. Steve is the guard of the queen. Just look at him. He's a big boy. He's gonna guard the queen. We all have friends. I wanna get shot in the face by Stag? Who doesn't? Stag's got a big fat bolt. Oh, this, this, this battle is getting even better. The Garu have now joined uh, the fray. These are Elder Big Things, by the way. Elder Big Things in Skinner's Realm. That seems kind of sus to me. These bad boys run 42 miles per hour. Good thing we can run 17. Also, we have triangle bandits on this side. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really hard to thread any of these needles I was talking about earlier. There's everybody and their mother is gonna try to fight us. And that triangle bandit is trying right now. I think the music is quite appropriate right now. Also... Holy Nation is out here fighting hill marauders now. Is there anybody not here? Is my question? Anybody not fighting? World on Fire mod? I mean, when is Kenshi not on fire? Hey BJ, how's it going buddy? Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome, welcome. Big party indeed. Uh, who do we have out here? That's uh, a, a few Starring Bandits. And there's some Dark Reavers out here as well. Yeah, alright, everybody is fighting everybody now. I see how it is. You did miss a bit. Don't worry, it will stay on YouTube so you can always uh, rewatch it. No worries there. Uh, we need to get into the acid. Oh my god. There's another group of Starring Bandits over here. Wait. Wasn't... Yeah, one's here. One group is here. There's the uh, Mac Leviathan down there, Antoniette, with hundreds in stats. We have Holy Nation and Hill Marauders on this side. And uh, there's the big things the Holy Nation and the Garu. We have the Triangle Bandits over there. Nomads should be fine, so I think we try to back a bit and try to thread the needle in here. That's a lot of hobos, Jesus. Oh, the world. Is on fire indeed. I don't know, you should ask Boomer. You should definitely I, I Boomer doesn't doesn't go watch me anymore. He since I introduced him to Ella, he just watches Ella stream, you know. Revenge of the Hobos. I can take the hobos. I don't think I can take uh, the whole nation. Good eyes first. Yeah, if you guys want to get some bads going, feel free to do so. Probably once we recruit Stag, he's gonna shoot Hashish in the neck. A bad Hashish? You're just saying that because Hashish has died once before in another series. Okay, we also have Black Dragon Ninjas out here now. Another group of Starring Bandits. And they're fighting uh, the Wolves. All right, all right. Seems this seems fine. Let's go this way. And over here we have skeletons. All right, skeletons will be friendly. I hope. Hey, heavenly, how's it going? Random events that would be giant battles between big ass factions. Well, that's exactly what's happening all around. They are random, and they're fighting each other. You know. Need Coco Fan back? Why? If I may ask? I miss Coco Pancake. Look, you guys, we have uh, channel memberships now. The more people that become channel members, the more emotes we can add. So we'll be we'll be able to add the Coco Pancakes and all that stuff back. Right now we have the Coco Love. We have the Coco Love, the, the classic uh, big thing love. We have, I think, Coco Rage. We have Coco Beep. What else do we have? I, I forget. We have... Oh, there we go. We have these four. 
these four emotes are are there. I can only do four emotes right now. When we get more people to be channel members, I can add the old emotes we had on Twitch. No goat mafia. I could only pick four, man. Don't don't fight me there. Coco Sins is a classic. Yeah, we need Coco Sins. We need Coco Pimp. We need the 15 versions of Coco Rage. Yeah, there's no Goat Mafia. Don't don't act like you missed that one. Nobody was ever using that emote. All right. Nobody ever used that. All right, we're in the acid now. 80% protection, 60% protection. This is fine. No worries whatsoever. You have some domesticated iron spiders. There's gotta be a uh, camp. Skeleton camp. Yep, it is. They are floating in the air. Love to see it. Steve says I like it. Steve likes acid rain. Look at this motor trucker. I like that. Rain feels nice, he says. It was a mascot? True. Why is it called Coco Sins when Coco is spraying in it? You know what? Now we need Coco Dab as well, apparently. Since that seems to be a new thing. This is Steve. Yeah. Steve protects. But most importantly, Steve enjoys rain. You know what? I'm actually happy how successfully we uh, skirted around all of that death that was uh, waiting for us over there in the plains. Pretty good, I would say. Pretty good. Which one is that? I can't hover over and see what emote it is or what it's called, like I can on Twitch. I hear questionable slurping sounds. Moist. You hear us walking on water, or on acid grounds, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. We have discovered a black desert city. Whoa, how cool is that? Last time I was here was when we had the series of the cannibals. Really? Oh man, you missed some good stuff. Um, I think a lot of people would say that in the last year, the series we did was their favorite when we did the, uh, what's it even called? I can't remember anymore, but the, the Shack Boys, you know, when we uh, started as Carsa. I don't know, what did I call that series? I don't remember. It's a cat in a box. All right. They're walking on rain. Yes. Acid rain, acid rain. Na na na, acid rain. You know what? Look at look at Hashish's eyes. That's some that's some devil staff stuff right there. Staff stuff. A demon. Warlord. There you go. Holy warlord. I like the 20 Ronin the most. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. 20 Ronin was decent. Cannibal Sears with Spear. Coco finally came out. Oh, shut up. Personally, my favorite series was World on Fire. It also ended pretty fast because uh, save got corrupted. I think it's like 15 episodes. But yeah, that was one was dope. That one was dope. We also started in the swamps back then. That was good times. Recruited a bunch of people, just fought all the time. It's been a bit now. Due to the pandemic, it was working not. Fair enough, buddy. Fair enough. I hope, uh, I hope it all went through pretty chill, nice, and also easy. 
Uh, all right, now we need to figure out where did they move the bar. The bar's on this side. The rusty nail. Let's go to the rusty nail. The Dark King was my favorite. A lot of people really enjoy the Dark King. And I can't... I, I'm not sure why. I can't really put my finger on the pulse there and figure out why was that one so much like so much better than any other ones right because it definitely got a lot more views than any other series that i did on kenshi maybe it was just the timing also important also where's any of my scout recruits why are all the freaking bars full of just casino people now i don't like that Get this crap out of here. Oh. I thought it's gonna be sad Neil, but it's not sad Neil there. It's Wound. And Kint? Pretty sad Neil, boys. It's a plastic surgeon over there, which is nice. Skeleton shop guards. Shame. The intro song? Okay. Fair. It was interactive. Okay. Fair enough. First Urban Cooker had a scuff mic and look at him now. He has an army of capitalistic sims at his disposal. You're the only simp here! You're the only one that went and did some simping over here. Yeah, you guys are totally not evil. The only person here that's evil is... Oh, we have Short Circuit over here. Short Circuit, I like him. Let's talk to him. He's buzzing. He's buzzing. Oh, we can't afford him? How much is buzz then? Huh. I don't know how much he is. Also, yeah, I don't see sad Neo amongst these boys. He might be out chilling around. So I can I can go check in the city if he's walking somewhere. It's like, hey, I'm walking here. This guy's got 10k bounty with a holy nation. Skeleton dude. His name is Drek, which means shit in my language. So, you know. Pretty good. That's what these boys got bounties. Oh, scout! There you go. This is this is this is our stag right there. But I think he's like 6k. Oh, metalheads around here as well. Cool, 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 cool. They have high limb health. Uh, ain't that good? There's more meat. Uh, Metal heads out here. Meat heads, metal heads, you know. That's how it is. There's a crimper boy over there. I still don't see Sadney. Oh, uh, these guys, I think, are 6k as well. We're gonna need to make some money. And then we come back and recruit. But let's first get the new stag. He says he's not good with a crossbow. Perfect. Perfect. He says he's not good with a crossbow. That sounds like a stack to me. Alright. Uh, there was... There was a plastic surgeon somewhere, wasn't it? The question is where? I know I remember seeing one. Come on. Why do you always make me look? There we go. He's such a drag. <laughs> you made the stories come to life in that series and intervened with the story of the Dark King. I see. Okay. I like that. Warlord, in my opinion, has the best RP. Yes, it did. It Warlord did have good RP, but I think Warlord kind of became 
really good in like the second half of the series. The first half, not so much. I think so. Empires and kingdoms rise and fall. Humanity and history in a vicious cycle. On Rio, the vengeful. He actually has his own crossbow, I believe. Yeah, he starts with his own crossbow. Uh, what did you name your uh, character, Stag? Just Stag? Wow, so original. So original. But yeah, it's basically the same skeleton. Like, actually the same skeleton that you had in that first uh, uh, Twitch series. And I think he was cr uh, he was crouched like that, right? Uh, he was he was doing the the Slavic squats. Is the return of Goat Mafia? Yes, it is. Welcome to the squad, Stag. I would say it's good to have you here, but let's all be realistic. Got good perception. He's, he's actually good at crossbows at 42. And he's got ratio bonus to it. He's got a toothpick. An iron stick. So yeah. Welcome to the squad, dude. Do we have any clothes for you? I don't think so. But again, you don't really need it. You're a slow. You're a slow boy. But I'm pretty sure you're gonna level up to be much, much faster. Can you make Heisenberg extremely tall and skinny? Do you really want to change how he looks? He's, you know, he's, he's, he's pretty cool, dude. How did I again forget where that uh, plastic surgeon is? The wood friendly fire. Mm hmm. Hello, Chocolino. How's it going, buddy? Uh, right, mods. I forgot to make the mod list. Uh, can somebody please remind me after the stream to set up the mod list? Chocolino, if you watch my previous series, it is actually linked down below in uh, the description. It's almost the same mod list as that series, so you can start with that one. Otherwise, I will, uh, I'll remember, or try to remember to fix that. It does have a giant shuriken, yes, Reginora, you're correct. Alright, so, uh, how tall should Heisenberg be? I think he is pretty skinny already, so... There you go. Wait, why do you guys all want to be mods? Now? Okay, you know what, that's just too much. This is what I give you, Heisenberg. This is what I give you. You're, you're like taller than Steve now. No, you're not, but you know, you're up there. All right, everybody follow Stag. We're gonna go on a deadly adventure and we're probably gonna die. Good luck, let's go. No mods allowed. We do have mods, they're just not here. Bunch of slackers. Oh, there's a cleanser unit out there. Those guys drop AI course, I'm pretty sure. True. I am authoritarian leader. Everybody knows that. My second name is El Presidente. El Presidente. That's how it is. Because mods only reunite in the stream once a year. True. This is true. Out of all of my mods, I believe I have five. Cry is probably the most active. Lucy pops up from time to time. But for Lucy, it's like 3 in the morning right now. Or maybe 4, something like that. 
Um, Raleen hasn't been around in a while. Khan hasn't been around at all in a couple of months. And the last mod, I actually forgot his name right now, can't remember. So that tells you how long he's been inactive, so. But yes, Cry is the GOAT. That reminds me, we should recruit some GOAT people. Because we have the we have the potential to recruit GOAT people. Rage inducing scenarios? What do you mean? I never rage. This is like one of the most peaceful games I can play. Especially after playing Elden Ring for a couple of weeks on Twitch streams. Not that I ever raged in that game. And the mods will come together. Yes. When uh, a full moon will come from the east. And then die or something. I don't know. I, I'm not very good with prophecies. You don't need to add a backstory if you don't feel like adding a backstory, buddy. But, um... It is good if, you, if you're trying to add your character, it to be on a central place, right? So either Discord or that first episode, it makes the most sense. So we, you know, we have all of you guys together. So you, your character submissions don't get lost in the nether. Stag, please. Chill. Can she's much harder than the Souls games? I've always called you BJ in my mind, so... And my mind did not go in the direction that Stag's gonna go. So, you know. You know, Stag, you can be nice to people as well without trying to insinuate stuff. You know what, when we come back, we can crack open this bad boy as well. There should be only a couple of uh, nasties in there, so we should be fine. No problems whatsoever. Uh, we're still good on food, which makes me happy. Now, all we need to do is not run into 100 big things and uh, enemy skeletons as we go through these lands, and we're gonna be good. We can beco become world hunters. No, our, our end goal is still to sell lettuce to everybody in the world, you know? That's still our goal. Currently, we are just uh, trying to make some extra money. Because, well, you guys can't see. But, we have almost zero cats. So, I'm trying to get some more money so we can get some more recruits. And, also get Cyberbeak from... Uh, that would be from Grey Desert. I did say I don't want to run into big things, so this is uh, unfortunate. Let him pass. Sneaky beaky like boys. So sneaky. They will never spot us. There's a restaurant called BJ's, they have a dark cherry cola, pretty good. Interesting. Very, very interesting. This seems different, I don't remember this that much. But okay. Get called Curious. Curious Fadef. Alright, Steve. Interesting. Calling you J would be easier. Yeah, but he's not J, he's BJ. You know, that's a difference, buddy. Uh, we're going here, right? Who doesn't like beakers? We all love beakers. We'll probably run into more of them. Also, a slight problem that I should have foreseen is that 
we didn't take any tools with us, and I doubt we have any lockpicking skills. Right? We have some thievery skills there. Hashish got 11. Stag's got 5. So we got that going for us, which is nice. And of course, the place where we need to go is covered with black ninjas and big things. Good. It's always the same stuff. We're gonna try sneaking past them. That is the way. Rage inducing beakers? No, no, no. What do you mean? Beakers are nice. Uh, also, iron spooters. Stay over here. Let's see which direction they go. They might come towards us. They might not come, come towards us. They are definitely coming towards us. God damn it. We are blocked. With these being such narrow passages, it's kind of, pro kind of a problem going past them. Oh, we're also right next to a nest with a million big thing eggs. Oh my. Where are the mummies and daddies? Damn. Yeah, other beakers hurt. That is a lot of eggs. Who wants to bet there's gonna be some mummies and daddies spawning on us? Money? Oh yes, money! It's just a slight issue with that money. How do we bring it back without completely over encumbering ourselves and actually be able to carry anything? Could you please pick up more of these? Actually, this is fine. Pick up more eggs, Steve. More eggs. Alright, Heisenberg. Fine. Hey, you know what? Might be better if we just load up Hashish and then carry Hashish. But yeah, if we can take all of these eggs back somewhere, we basically win. Alright, we also have a problem now that these uh, boys are coming closer. Uh, the Kanasai bow we're not gonna take because it's crappy quality. Uh, let me just see why the music stopped. And let me restart the music. There you go. They gotta be pretty tasty, man. Hello, Karamba. Uh, I am from the glorious lands of Slovenia, in Europe. Here you go. Now you know, buddy. Now you know. Hmm. How heavy are these? Six kilos? I want to stag. Alright, you give another one to stag. Okay, you two are fine. Turn that direction. She's just kind of over encumbered. She's give one to Big Bubba. Give another one to Big Bubba. Big Bubba, go in that direction. It's fine. Steve is carrying too much. Steve, give two of these to Heisenberg, maybe? Keep going, boys. You're fine. Steve is not fine. Since fine. Big Bubba's fine. Hashish and Steve have some issues.
Thanks for watching Seth and Fibia in your previous videos. I learned how to wipe out an SOB thing, including all the patrols. Okay. The best thing is to fight them one on one. You never want to have more people fighting one big thing, right? Also, you don't want to be caught fighting these bad boys right now. That would be a bad idea. Terrible idea. Who's the fastest? Combat unit. Steve, give this to combat unit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Give me, bro. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. How are you out of combat trading range, you morons? Alright, it's fine. I guess combat unit is being targeted as one. Do not fight. Do not fight. Go to there. So it's going after Big Baba. In combat union who is trying to fight, which seems like a terrible idea. And we're going towards the other ones, which also sounds like a terrible idea. Please don't go that way. Big things are returning on this side. So we are kind of trapped right now. After stealing those eggs. Uh, you can't go down here. I'm pretty sure you can't. I'm pretty sure this, this valley is not accessible. Actually, it might be. But then you can't go up here. Yeah, you can't. No, this valley is uh, is dead end. Okay. Hmm. Why do you want a tuna fish sandwich for breakfast? I don't really. I like tuna fish sandwiches for sure. I don't think I like them for breakfast. It really seemed like a great idea. Uh, if we managed to get up here, that would have been great. We didn't. So I think what we need to do is go in this direction now. Away from uh, all this fun. We're gonna go this direction. Oh no, we're not fighting spiders. They're just trying to chase us. Because we stole many a big thing egg. Okay, this is now bad. They have switched to Heisenberg. Who got lucky that he didn't get attacked. And Synth, of course, got tagged there. You motherfucker. Could you please be so kind and actually attack the one person that you're supposed to be attacking and not switch around? Alright, this is fine. Heisenberg, go. Synth is actually... Fine. Who are you going for? Heisenberg, Big Bubba. Uh, Synth, just first aid your legsy. You guys go this way. Yeah, just go this way. This is fine. No problems at all. Don't get hit in the leg. We got hit in the leg, buddy. Exactly in the leg. Now, the way to get up to these guys... Can we go... Back here. Um, I think we need to get all the way around to go up here. And I'm not even sure if they're going to be nice to us. Because this is the... Uh, what are they called? Uh, the Narcos Disciples, right? Yeah, these are Narcos Disciples. We need some safety right now. I, was, I wanted to go to the hive. But we have beakers over here, spiders over here. So it's a bit of a problem. She's first aiding herself. She's going to be fine. Uh, let's go this direction. How much union is going to take a turn around? She's going to go for synth. We're chasing Steven Heisenberg. Yeah, Steve is a bit slow, isn't he? For sure. Those backpacks are not the best. 
We're not gonna feed the spiders. They're not gonna eat us, you know? We need to go, oh my god, all the way around here. I think we can go up here, but there's big things on the other side. Of course there are. Oh, Synth is fine. Alright. Pick up Synth. I want to see what your run speed is going to be. You know, uh, as I said, never be uh, greedy. When it comes to Kenshi. Never be greedy and carry too much. It's not worth getting uh, stuck somewhere and then killed. Like Steve is gonna be right now. Steve's a big boy. So he's fine. Like he took three hits for 104 and he's fine. He's the only one being chased right now. These two guys are gonna go in this direction. These guys are gonna go in this direction. And Steve's fine. Good old spiders indeed. It will never catch Steve. We could go to this hive? That actually might be the best. Yeah, 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 we're gonna go to that hive. Alright, we're good. So, combat unit and synth. Just go there. Everybody else, just go to the hive. You got this. And we're gonna have to babysit Steve a bit. I hope nobody else gets attacked. But yeah, Steve is a beast. These spiders are never gonna catch up to him. I mean, you get hit three times for a hundred. And you're still standing. He's like, I'm still standing. And all that stuff, you know? Now... I do have to take a look so we don't run into something stupid out here. Because you never know. Uh, gotta be careful with the gas clouds, also. And Steve is fine. Also, if uh, the Hivers take these two Iron Spiders down, we can loot them and get some more money out of that. So you know what? This, all worth it, boys. I mean, the amount of eggs we got. Also, the sell value is 2k. You said 5k. Or 2k. I'm pretty sure they have been reduced. Unfortunately. Free cats, though, for sure. For sure. About to genocide the hivers? Yeah, we'll see about that. Also, holy balls on the chopstick. That is a lot of Narcos Disciples up here. Hello, friends. Uh, these guys have some lollipops as their uh, weapons. That's skeletons. These skeletons might uh, beat up those if we get close enough. Yep, Steve dodged. Let's go. Good dodge, Steve. Stack has actually already made it over here. Like, what's up, noobs? Let's go. It only takes 15 strength to carry three fully loaded backpacks. A person can carry three backpacks, two and three, and one equipped. A rude new dude with 15 strength can carry the encumber guy and still run full speed. That is probably correct if you're playing vanilla. I am playing with mods, so that is not possible at all. Uh, because I have the body weight. The vanilla body weight of a person is 30. I have it set up at 60 to be a bit more realistic. So uh, everybody is heavier. That's just the way it is. They have eaten more big thing soups or whatever. So... That, that wouldn't really happen anymore. Also, I don't like this cloud next to a bar. Hey guys, how's it going? Steven Hish Hashish, let's make it in here. Combat unit, let's make it over here, buddy.
Steve's gonna be fine. He's getting fixed. Ashish... Why is Ashish's chest so beat up? Did he get hit as well? He might have gotten hit. You two try not to run through clouds. I'll appreciate that. And I hope we should be safe from clouds indoors. Now, where is your trader? There he is. Flappy feet come trade. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right, boys. We made it in. We're all good. All right, Steve, you're the big boy. Let's go. Actually, no, you're 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 Hiver. Eisenberg, go trade over here. These guys have no money. Awesome, but we can sell two big thing eggs to them. That's a start. I remain unscathed. Yes, of course. Of course. You forgot your Discord uh, password? Man, that is pretty wild. Uh, we should be able to sell at other places. Not there, but in these two. Uh, let's see. I think these beds don't actually let you sleep nicely. They are X4 healing bonus, so okay, maybe maybe I was wrong. Alright, Sin's got some eggs. Let's give two of these to Steve. We want Hashish sleeping over here as well. And let's, let's just send combat unit out here. I think we should be close enough to be able to sell from the others anyway, so this is fine. Hello, friends. Hopefully you guys have more mo money. That surprised me for a second there, seeing that hat. Uh, where's your trader? Oh, there you are. Hello, sir. Welcome, Scrap Metal. Wow. What a nice welcome, buddy. They do have 25k, which should be enough to sell a lot of these. But not all. Not all at all. They have cheap basic repair kits. I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna sell them another egg. We're up to 28,000, boys. 28,000. Let's go. It's extortion. Yeah, but we are kind of in the middle of nowhere, you know, so they can have uh, the prices. The way they want the prices, you know. This guy called me a metal freak. And the insults ever end. 42,000 now, boys. 42,000. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. We could buy this jacket for our boy. But I don't care enough about Stag right now to buy him a jacket. So, uh, this, this was all good. We pay with eggs. Yes. We pay with eggs. Steve also should go sleep because he is injured. Let's go. Alright. You guys go sit at the bar and drink your life away. Wow, this is weird. This looks like the the people from the early episodes of what's it called I can't remember a series that's all can still wear higher armor potentially maybe but we're not gonna be spending money on armor right now because we're gonna we're gonna go back in here to this ruin that we tried to get to last time and we'll definitely find something good there you know you gotta die of hypothermia. You're a goddamn skeleton. You can't die of hypothermia. It's not even possible. 
you know? These guys are dying out here to <laughs> these gas clouds. Oh, nice. He called me welcome tramp. Awesome. All right. As these guys heal over here, I'll be right back. Just need to go refill my teeth. So be right back. Good reminder about the tools there, buddy. Very good reminder. We should get some tools. We should definitely get some tools. This makes you smile. <laughs> good. The internal fluids that keep a skeleton running can still freeze or congeal. So theoretically, skeletons can die of hypothermia. Yeah, but we're not in Siberia over here, you know? We are in the acid lands. I don't imagine it's very warm out here, but it's probably also not freezing. <laughs> we got enough tools to get our party. Good one. Good one. Uh, but yes, I should go check for tools. Uh, these guys weren't selling them. But maybe these guys. And we're not gonna try to steal from... Low, like one people where we can feel kind of safe. Hello, sir. Are you stuck there, buddy? Has you got tools? All we need is like one set of tools. You do not have tools, do you? Ain't that a shame. How fast is combat unit? 19 run speed. Uh, you know what? What we're we gonna do? We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna use combat unit. To go get some tools while these guys heal up because uh still gonna take a bit for these guys to heal up and you can probably make combat unit run faster if we drop some of the stuff that he's carrying actually trade with hashish she's got plenty to here give him the food you don't need the food on you so you can run just 19. Steve is faster, but I still, I, I trust combat unit to do this for me. It's gonna just take a run down here. You guys heal. It's fine. We're gonna go find some tools. Let's go. <laughs> it looks like a slender man. Yeah, Heisenberg is a slender man now. That's official. How do you know? Oh, he'll look with metal armor. Oh, we'll see. Eventually, we'll we'll get there. We'll get everybody nice and equipped. You know, it's, it's gonna take a while. That's fine. You know, for our for now, our goal is to get new recruits, get stronger, all that stuff. Yeah, you guys are all just drinking in that bar over there. While combat unit goes on his own adventure. Without pants. Because who needs pants these days? He just zooms around. 
There he goes. This ruin usually has some tools around. Just lying around. Just chilling. So let's see if he does. Let's have a uh, power core over there. I don't see tools, by the way. Which makes me sad. Very sad. But do you have a skeleton repair kit that we can grab? Actually, two. Sweet. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be any tools out here. It's a bit of a problem. You know. A bit of a problem, for sure. No tools. We could go... Check the hives, if they have. But the other hive there didn't have tools, so I don't know if this one's gonna have tools. Free cats? Definitely free cats, but... If you can use those free cats to buy tools, that'd be great. Who's fighting out here? Thrall Masters versus Mechanical Hive. You go, Mechanical Hive! I guess, uh, since uh, Combat Unit is running around here, what he can do is he can recruit Cyber Beep and bring Cyber Beep back uh, to the rest of the party up here. And we, we can do that, you know, get ourselves in the recruit just the way we want it. Let's go in, in here, I guess. Hello friends, how do you do? Tools? I see no tools. Anybody sees tools? I don't see tools. They're actually selling engineering research and ancient science books. Alas, no tools. No, Cyberbeep does not get renamed. Cyberbeep, Cyberbeep. Does whatever a cyber peep does. Oh, these guys actually pay extra for these. I can just sell them over here instead of bringing them back to the Scaliburos. That's fine. Do you have any tools lying around? They do have tools lying around. Um, guys, we're gonna piss off the hive. Sorry. Didn't want to do that. My bad. Hey guys, we found tools. Don't worry about it. It's all good. I think now it might make it a bit harder for him to go and get cyber beep. I don't know if he's going to be welcome in uh, the high villages, but hey, we got tools. So that's all that matters. Didn't even try to stealth. Also, look what we have discovered over here, guys. Do you see the name of the way station we just discovered? Message travels fast, of course. Yes, he does. Look at that pretty place. Looks cool. Yes, free. <laughs> Indeed, it was free. We need to go here. And the uh, cyber beep shall be there, hopefully. Hey, rebel farmers. How do you do, boys? Hello, Lance. How's it going, buddy? Slave traders. Come on, slave traders. Come down. Alright, that's mechanical hives. Um, 
We do have a bounty with the mechanical hive, so we have to be careful. We probably won't be able to stay here for too long. So we need to find Cyber B, like basically ASAP. So if anybody sees him, let me know. Cyberbeep is Cyberbeep. He's not becoming anything special. He's Cyberbeep. Cool helmet there, bro. I like the colors, actually. Cyberbeep. Cyberbeep. Beeps, whatever. Uh, oh, there you go. He's been recognized. All right. Need to go. Maybe if you stay out here in the outskirts. Cyber beep will come without combat unit getting into more troubles. That'd be great. A simp isn't anything special. Yeah, well, you say if you ask me, but I don't think anybody asked you. So there you go. Come on, Cyber beep, I believe in you. I don't see him. He might be in another hive, though. I've seen him in this hive as well before. Cyberbeep is the Roomba for apartment. <laughs> is he? Is he really a Roomba? I don't see him walking around here. I don't think he should be at, in a bar. I think he should just patrol around the town. There's a bunch of uh, mercs over there. Yes, I have come to the right place. Of course I have. That guy also recognized me. Probably not good. It's a dangerous thing we're doing right now. Dangerous thing. Any beeps around here? Any beepers? I don't see no beepers. All right, you know what? If there's no beepers, there's no beepers. That's fine. Let's make it up there. With combat unit. It's fine. We make the best? Yeah, tell me about it, buddy. Let's uh, take a look at these guys. Uh, mostly healed? No, not quite. Would it be funny if uh, Cyberbeep was here in this town? But I think if he was, he would have gone and started talking to us already, so... Probably not. Who are you guys fighting? Boneyard Wolves? A hey, stag, go loot this Boneyard Wolf. Also, I like this weaponry they have. Damn. It's fighting out here. Oh, more Boneyard Wolves. Maybe it's not such a good idea for us to be here. This Narco Disciple seems like he's got a good weapon, though. We need to go loot him. That seems like a great weapon, actually. So this, let's take... I don't think we need meat right now. Stag, how fast are you? 18 run speed? That seems like a decent thing. Shame we didn't find beep. But we might find some more good stuff, you know? Like the gear these narco disciples have left in the ground. This guy over here. Who's who's currently out? Let's go. Why do I feel something bad's gonna happen? Nothing bad ever happens. What do you mean? Also, there seems to be a couple of these <laughs> nests out here. In between. In betwixt. This guy is just dead. Damn these wolves. Leave stag B, okay. How strong are you? You're not that strong. Shouldn't be that strong. Or are you just killing these guys? Maybe these guys are 
weaker than I thought. That's a Mark II Foreign Saber. You love to see it, boys. Oh man, I'm taking that. I knew. Oh, this narco disciple saw Stag do it, though. That's fine. It's okay. Nothing wrong there. Is there more? Oh, that guy seems like I have a shiny weapon over there. Oh no, that's just shiny armor. Just shiny armor, but we'll take the repair kit. For sure. Lots of doggos around. It's fine, it's all good. Alright. Uh, stag? Game, please. Game, please. Stop it. Stag is gonna go back in here. And we're gonna have to be careful that... Uh, combat unit doesn't get attacked either. Mark II freestyle, hell yeah. That is a good sword. Oh, you like Project Zomboid? Well, that's great to hear, man. Project Zomboid is a great game for sure. 100%, man. Definitely recommend it for anyone who hasn't tried it yet. Big time, recommend it. I'm gonna be making a couple of new uh, Project Zomboid videos soon as well, so. If you're looking forward to that, that's gonna happen. I don't like the fact that this looks like there's a cloud in here. So you guys all agree that we should give Steve this uh, good defensive weapon? Because this is a great defensive weapon. And I think Steve could benefit from it. Since he's gonna be our big, big boy. I'm gonna do a switcheroo over here. There you go. And a stick. We can sell. It doesn't have a repair kit. Heisenberg doesn't have a repair kit. She's got it. Big Bubba does not have it. Give us to Big Bubba. There you go. We're good. Combat unit's back as well. Let's go. What a perfect thing, boys. We're all back together. Oh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem because they just recognize him for what he is. And everybody and their mother is now going to try to fight, which is going to be a problem. I don't want that. You guys, passive hold, stop. Go back in bed. Do not go anywhere. Stay, stay, stag. Put your, put your thing back. Sit over here. Combat unit's gonna be fine. Don't worry about him. Hey! Move, dude. Just move. It's fine. Let me shoot in peace? No. You're not allowed. I love seeing NPCs in PZ. They're gonna do that soon ish. Until then, you can grab some mods that are gonna allow you to um, to play with NPCs, but beware, they're not not exactly the best. But they're decent. Yes, this is a new playthrough uh, exploration overland. It is. Tuyo was on vacation, and when I decided I'm gonna stream on YouTube, I made a poll and asked what would you like to see, continuation of Tuyo? or a new series, and vast majority voted for new series, so here we go, new series is is here. I, I, I had a plan to continue Tsuyo, but I decided I'm gonna give it up to vote, and surprisingly, actually surprisingly, really most people voted for, uh, for this, for new series, so here we are, here we are. Alright, Hashish, get out. You guys all follow Hashish. Hashish. Why are you always over encumbered, buddy? Anyway, let's start bringing these boys back. You. Go. Follow. 
Got my genius, let's go, buddy. If something bad like this would happen, I knew you guys it's about to, yeah. Yeah. Like, I wanted to continue to, yeah, just... People decided that they would prefer to see something new, and that's fine, you know? That's why we are here. And as always, if you want to RP, you can always RP. I'll be very glad to read your backstories and such. We should maybe loot that thing. Oh, did that guy stop chasing us? I think so. I think these narco disciples uh, like our boy over here. Good. All right. Let's bring the queen over here. Let's all squat up again. We have the tools now. So let's uh, let's finish the the goal we had now. I think most of the RPers left because of the hiatus. Yeah, that's fine, you know, if they don't want to stick around, that's, you know, if they want to watch somebody else, that's completely normal, and it's okay. Completely fine. You can RP live in the live chat. Yes, you can. Actually, that would be very cool to see if that happened. It was a while. Indeed. Indeed, it was it was for a bit that we haven't done that, so. You know what? These Narcos disciples just killing big things for us is pretty pretty nice of them, I gotta admit. Alright, let's bring uh combat unit back into the fray. And he's gonna follow Hashish as well. Alright, let's make it out there, boys. Let's go. Sorry, uh, Narcos Disciples, that we stole one of your good weapons, but it's not my fault you guys gone and don't get wrecked. Love that carefree Coco attitude. What exactly are you saying when you say carefree Coco attitude? What do you mean by that? Would you do Star Wars modded series? In Kenshi, 150% not. In, let's say, RimWorld or Star Sector? Yes, potentially. But I do not like the over crazy modded uh, Kenshi things that kind of take away from Kenshi and are more memes than actual Kenshi playthroughs. I don't like that. I like Kenshi. I. I, I know there's a lot of people who take Kenshi to the absolute meme levels. I don't want to go there. And I know a lot of you enjoy that. In fact, a lot more people enjoy that than my RP series. But I just, I'm not pretty into that, you know? Also, we have the good music going on right now. My desk is fine. It's not sweaty. I've never hit my desk before, so stop it. I never get upset slightly playing these games, so you guys should all be nice. <laughs> Sounds like a BJ, wow. I don't like Meme Kenshi, I think it's boring. I know that a lot of people like it. It's not for me personally though, so. I do like, okay. When I say I don't like the full meme, I mean I don't like the full meme. But you guys know that when we did the Fishimon series, it was very much on the funny side, and we got a lot of memes out of it, right? But still, I don't think it was too far gone from the what Kenshi's all about. What about other games? You mean Star Wars in other games? Or memes in other games. Don't sing Fishimon again. I'm a fishy, 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 fishyman. I'm a fishyman. Yeah, I'm a fishyman. I'm a fishy, 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 fishyman. That thing? I shouldn't sing that thing. Okay. Now I know. All right. All right. Fair enough. 
It was an extreme meme. There you go. See, it wasn't. No memes at all. My repressed memories are coming back. <laughs> yes. Tell them. Repress those memories. I love that song. That thing is actually called Gummy Bear and it's a kid's song? That's not true. I don't hear no gummy bear words in there, just fishymon words. Look at us. Look at that. We're so good at breaking down doors. What did I get back to? I don't know. What did you get back to? That sounded good, actually. My man! Yeah. This guy knows. Keep, uh, keep giving me positive reinforcement. That's all, I'm, that's what I'm all about. Don't encourage you to sing that horrible but oddly satisfying song. <laughs> yeah, I'd never do that. Remember Coco was singing that weeb song? In the meme of the week? So Stag, fun fact. Remember last, uh, on Friday, I, um, uh, I turned that on for like 12 seconds. It was on for 12 seconds. As soon as the stream ended, I got copyright POF! Like that. That stream still demonetized. To this day. Even though I muted that song now. So, uh, yeah, good times, good times. Now repair what you have broken. So yeah, that thing has now been removed, and it's no longer part of our repertoire. Excuse me, what did Heisenberg just say? I love the taste of my own blood. Ha ha ha. Ha. YouTube don't play? Nope. This is not Twitch. On Twitch I used it like a million times. YouTube is like, nope. None of that, buddy. None of that. All right. Hashish, you're gonna be our lockpick boy. Start training. It was all planned? Thank you, Stag. I didn't want to make any money off of it anyway. Free stuff, anyone? It's always the free stuff. Uh, let's see. Combat units got the tools, so he's gonna go over here. I assume we can't... Yeah, we can't open this one, so he's gonna go and use tools here. And, I don't know, who's got a backpack? Let's start looting some of these. Oh, Metal Bat! Mark 1, let's go. You'll love to see it. Who doesn't like some good old baseball bats? That is a cracked saber. We save before we take the cats. It's fine. Specialist grade samurai armor. He's gonna need to uh, get some strength training before he can use this. My boy Steve is a beefy boy. He doesn't want to be a thief boy. Good memories of the dude who keeps repairing and cleaning the walls in that zombie darkness reward series. Oh yeah! That series was actually a lot of fun to make. But it was not received very well, and it was mainly due to the fact that, well, it was extremely dark, and nobody could see shit. For some reason, people don't like watching if you can't see what's on the screen, you know? Oh, look at that! Masterwork a Swift Arm Mark 1. Like it? Leviathan's Arm? Oh, dude, plus 20% strength. Mmm, don't mind if I do. Good unarmed damage. Un chopped carrot and rice weed. Somebody uh, was eaten out here. We got a shooten, a long cleaver. We're gonna have to throw this into Hashish. Okay, whenever Hashish is done with that other place. Hello, Nicola. How's it going? Just joined. Uh, so, 
Quick recap. We uh, made it out of the swamps, got to the way station where Hashish was waiting, uh, got some recruits along the way, we got the combat unit and Big Bubba. Then we decided we're gonna go towards the Deadlands, we got to Black Desert City, recruited Stag, went up north, found a ton of Big Thing eggs, had to run because spiders caught us, uh, sold the Big Thing eggs at the Mechanical Hive, had one person run all the way down here, steal some tools over here because we needed tools, ran back all the way trying to find a Cyber Beep, it was not there, and now we regrouped over here and decided to go finally for this lost armory, which we are now picking up open. There you go, finding some good stuff, hopefully. Did your cover of Barbie Girl not get claimed? No, not at all, you'd be surprised. Also, hello beakers, how's it going boys? He says, I don't feel like being a lunch. All right, Heisenberg is a, he's a talky-talky guy. Clearly. Oh, Big Bubba's also saying that. Hey, Hashish did it. We got Ronin Armor Masterwork. A holy flamberge, a saber, and a spear, Mark 1. Oh, boy. I like it. Speakers, get out of here. Get out of here. Are you ever going to do another RimWorld series? Yes, I have some cool stuff planned for RimWorld. Fun fact, uh, I have been on my phone, I've been writing ideas down for what I want to do. And I have around 20 ideas for RimWorld, Star Sector, and Project Zomboid. Kenshi, I just left it in here, so I have like 10 ideas for extra Kenshi stuff. But yeah, I've, I'm the idea guy now. Now, the only thing left remaining is that we actually do those ideas, you know? We're speedrunning the entire anime first season, basically. Now, Beaker is stuck over here, basically what he is. He's stuck, he, he's trying to follow the leader, but he is, you know, he's being a Beaker. That is nice loot. Why do you think we got over here? You can always count on having some nice loot over here. Save before you take any cats, even though it's just one cat. We got a Crescent, a Hacker class. We got a Double Axe, Heavy Weapon. Also, because I know how much you guys all loved my tier lists that I made. I'm going to be making some more tier lists. For Project Zomboid. And for the first time, also Kenshi. I'm going to be ranking all the melee weapons and all that such. So that's going to be fun, right? Hey Kane, how's it going, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Yes, uh, the beakers are colored due to mods. As you can see, they're different colors uh, over there. Tuyo is not dead, Ray. Tuyo is still alive. Uh, I made a poll asking what would you like to see? Continuation of Tuyo or a new series, a fresh start? And most people voted Quite a lot of people, like really, really a lot of people voted for a fresh start, so here we are. Also, how's it going, Ray? Uh, I don't think any actually involved cannibalism. Sorry, Stag. Sorry. Terrible, terrible, sorry. I'm not going to be ranking uh, martial arts amongst those weapons, because we all know martial arts are completely and utterly busted. So none of that. The gun tier list? Gun tier list for Project Zomboid? Is that the one? You're asking for? Because if I just go vanilla, there's really not much. It's like two shotguns and a, like two rifles and like three pistols. But if I go with uh, something like, uh, what's it called? Um, Britas, yes. There's like a million versions of weapons that I will never know which ones are actually good. Even if I tested them for like 500 hours. Thank you, Ray. I appreciate the fact that you're gonna still decide to watch and stick with me. Uh, we did the first episode on Friday, and it's on YouTube, so you can just watch that whole thing. And this is gonna stay on YouTube. I'm gonna stream Mondays and Fridays 
for three hours. So we get six hours of Kenshi content per week. Hopefully that will fill the void that we all feel uh, after not playing Kenshi for a while. Can you just cheese shotguns for shooting skill? Yes, yes you can. Shotguns are the only uh, range weapons you should be using early on, but later on you can use other stuff as well. I actually been enjoying using handguns because they're not as overpowered. Oh my god, we're getting so many weapons in here. They're not as overpowered, but they're still satisfying to use. So, there you go. I don't think we can actually carry all of this stuff out. All the stuff that we're getting. Especially because we don't have big enough backpacks. It's another double axe. Man! You know what? Comedian is actually gonna have to put some pants on. I can't I can't fit that in there anyway. So this is gonna be interesting. We'll figure it out. Yeah, Bruda's mod. Fishing net. Interesting. Edge step one plate mace. Oh man, if, I wish it was anything but that. That's 36 kilos on that thing. I have some large hammers over here. Well, we're definitely gonna be getting some good stuff out of this for sure. More that we can actually carry. You need a flamberge. This one? Alright. Heisenberg is now a flamberge guy. Since you're so tall, it doesn't even seem that big. But yeah, there you go. You got that. We got a very nice razor saber. I love razor sabers. It's not very heavy. We can use that. Um, let's see. We're gonna do some trading. Of course, we still need to wait for this to be open. Give him hands back. Uh, and let's give him the Ronin Masterwork armor. So combat unit is now a Ronin. Steve carry everything and everyone. Yeah, look at him. Look at how big of unit he is. Love to see that. Let's give this to Hashish. Let's give this to Stag. That gives him some crossbow effects there. And he actually gets to have armor. So that's good. Uh, let's have you dual wield spears. That's gonna allow us to pick up another weapon. Because we left a bunch behind. Blade Mace is good. Definitely a good weapon. It's just I do wish it was another weapon because then we could actually use it at this point, you know She's run speed is now five Okay, so I left Where did I left the weapons Left some up there. I now I forget. God damn it I'm gonna have to do some relooting Oh, look at that! Drunk! Welcome to Dark Side. How's it going, my boy? Thank you for becoming, I think, my first member. Yeah, guys, if you did not know, we have the channel membership now uh, enabled. There it is. Drunk is now a holy ball. Yes, if you guys didn't know, I was the person that drew uh, Drunk's profile picture. How's it going, Drunk? Oh, we have a Tessin. Sweet. Yes, you were, you were my first member on Twitch. That is correct. That is indeed correct. So I think uh, history repeats itself. Doesn't it? So, so magnificent.
shit. We still can't pick this up. Uh, somebody else can, right? We have some inventory space, maybe. I guess Big Bubba can pick this up. Hashish is, of course, completely full. Everybody's so encumbered. You gotta keep consistent. It's probably not very, very easy to do, being uh, the first member here and on Twitch. Some next level timing there, buddy. Oh, that's bad. He opened... We we wasted our tools, boys. I wasn't paying attention. He actually used his tools. Shit. That's bad. Hey, Osmax, how's it going? What are the plans for the stream? So, uh, we are making an army. To get an army, we need some money so we can recruit people. The best army to be made right now was to go into the Deadlands and... Uh, well, we just broke in here. We're gonna sell the weapons we stole. We're gonna go back to Black Desert City to recruit some more people. Basically. PZ Elite has grace that he's present. Indeed. Uh, no, I streamed for the first time on Friday, actually. But on Friday, we didn't have the, uh, the stuff enabled yet, so... It just got enabled, like, today. In the membership. Spike Crusher in here, Mark II. That is pretty disappointing loot. For that thing and we wasted the tools but alas it is what it is why the change so i've been thinking about this for a bit uh we had people asking for kenshi series on youtube we had people asking for kenshi series on twitch and i didn't want it to do two series cc's again so i decided okay I'm gonna stream on YouTube and combine the two worlds. I will still stream on Twitch on Wednesdays when we have Coco Day with shrimp and uh, peoples. So, you know. Make Beep a general or commander? Of course. Beep is gonna be the greatest uh, general ever. Or, well, whatever he wants to be. He's gonna be the best. I'm gonna go this Razor Saber. I'm gonna give this to Synth. This is gonna be her new weapon. Our queen deserves a great weapon. This is a great weapon, you know? All right, 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 right. It's fine. That football manager uh, save went slightly sideways. It's okay, you know? Even happens to the best of us. Could have continued it, of course. Alas, it's fine. We have the Saturn Axe. It's an interesting hacker thing. But yeah, we have a Mark III weapon there, Mark II weapon here. Katan III on Heisenberg now. This Fuma Shuriken, I feel like we could replace it by now. <laughs> we do have the Plate Mace. It's unfortunately it's 36 kilos, right? Even though it's edge type 1, so we're gonna have to place it. We do have a Crescent. Which is surprisingly heavy for such a small weapon, but we can use that. Cracked Saber is good. I think we should use Cracked Saber. Maybe Big Bubba is going to switch to that right now. Instead of what he's using. But yeah, we got some good stuff over here. The Kenshi Story Service on YouTube. That was interesting, wasn't it? It was... It was basically just a test at that point, right? It was me just testing how things are going to go. But I think in the end they worked pretty well. I had a lot of fun with it. I certainly need to go and try to redo that at some point. For sure. Pack of beer and some chips. Well, I don't want to disappoint you, buddy. But I usually do end around three hours of the stream. And it's been two hours and 56 minutes now. So I'm not saying I'm going to end soon. But it might end soon. But otherwise, you definitely should get a pack of beer. Don't let me ever stop you. They were great. I need to, like... What I need to do... Is get a full story in my head. On how I want that to go. And then maybe do it, like... Once or twice a day? Maybe? But have it all prepared, because when I was doing that 
last time, it was just all out of my head, you know? I was just thinking of it as I went. But it was fun, for sure. So, yeah. Uh, I If I can, like, just write down the store with all possible directions you can go, and then do that, maybe, I don't know, do it once or twice a day, so people can get the votes in, I think that would be kind of fun. You can already hear the sound of money you're gonna get with all those stuff. Well, let's actually take a look at uh, what we are carrying out. Like, we're gonna sell these, right? Let's... Look at the sell value of this! 700. 500. 800. This is not worth carrying. 1,000. 500. 600. This Edge Type 1 is gonna sell for 1,800. Yeah, we're not gonna make any money with this, really. I guess what we can make money on is the uh, arms. 16 and 19k. I wanna give the metal back to somebody. Because I love the way it looks. So yeah. I vote every 12 hours or so. Yeah, like have one vote set up as I wake up in the morning and one as I go to sleep. Sounds decent. When we uh, flip to the page for Decision Adventure Books. Yes, that's what it was basically based on. I loved those books as a kid. There was like this series of like... Uh, like time travel or time machine stuff where you were a person... Oh my god, look at this war zone. You were a person who like used your time travel machine to travel back to like important events and such. It was awesome. I, uh, I read those as a kid. A lot. I don't think this uh, this high village is gonna be very safe. You know? But ain't gonna nobody stop us from going there. Yeah, we're gonna get a couple monies. It's fine. Now, it is a war zone. Yes. There seems to be some ancient skeletons over here. Beating up uh, mechanical hivers. That guy's probably also gonna go for us. We can't defeat him. Uh, we will be safe from big things, at least, if you go indoors. You know? Cyberbeep is here! Oh my god. Okay. Uh, saving Cyberbeep mission, mission? mission is a go. Alright, Stag, it's on you, buddy. Run. Talk to Cyberbeep. He just got hit for 100, I saw that. Oh my god. He got hit for 104 there. He gets hit for something like that. Again, he's dead. He's just a peaceful cyber beep. No. Yes, I do play D&D uh, &D on Tuesdays and... Thursdays in the morning. You can watch those streams on Ella's or Udi's stream or our uh, DM arc. The old stream. So you can watch that. Come on. Stag. Get here on time. Hey, beep. How's it going? Come on, Beep, join us. Let's go, boys! We got Cyber Beep! Let's go! If the VFP dies, it's game over. <laughs> yeah, he's just strutting. It's fine. It's fine. There's people losing arms out here and such. Where did Steve go? Why are you guys all not coming over here? Uh, let's make our way in here. Beep and stag? Let's make our way in somewhere. Maybe into this trader place. The beak things cannot follow us in here. So we're just gonna go over here. And uh, cyber beep can be repaired. Let's go, boys. We got ourselves cyber beep. Who doesn't love that? Well, I'm very happy. Very, very happy. 
Not sure yet what kind of a weapon we're gonna give him, but we're gonna figure it out. Stag did save Beep, yes. Who would have seen that uh, happen, huh? Nobody. If you said that Stag's gonna say, save somebody, everybody would think that, you know, you're lying. As long as this guy doesn't get us, we're fine. Yes, enemies of the hive. Kill that guy. Maybe he's gonna go fight the beakers. Alright, uh, weapons. What do we give inside of Beak? <laughs> we give him the metal bat? You give him the metal bat. Or this crescent. Let's give him this crescent. Right. People are not here yet. Come on, boys. Make it here. He has no emotions. He's a robot. No, no, no. Beep's got all the emotions, man. I mean, Cyber Beep. Yeah, never want to use a VIP. I mean, losing a limp, as you said, losing a limp is a bonus. You want to lose limbs, right? That's why we were happy when our queen lost her limp. But we don't want to lose Beep. Restricted multiplayer for Kenshi? Uh, Kenshi 2 is definitely going to be moddable in a way that you will be able to have multiplayer. I'm 100% sure. How it's going to work, though, I don't know. Uh, and Kenshi 1, though, no, it's not possible. Oh, we still have a bounty on combat unit, don't we? Yes, we do. But I guess everybody's so busy fighting over here that this is not that big of a priority for them right now. You know? I guess it's fine. Do we have any gear? We don't have any gear for uh, Cyber Beep. That's fine. Uh, let's give him... I think we do give him the Crescent. Because he's just cool. You know, he gets to have a Crescent. It's almost as big as him. And let's be real, we're all about cool weapons. If you can have a cool weapon, you should have a cool weapon. That's basically what it is, you know? Make Beep to use the biggest weapon? Mm. Nah. What's the progress of that game? Well, I'm sure it's gonna be playable somewhere in the year of our Lord, Beep 2047. Somewhere around there. I'll see. Alright. Let's make some money, boys. I will still keep this metal bat. I kind of want to keep the metal bat. It's cool. I like it. We'll give it to somebody. I think we're gonna sell some of these heal kits now. Slowly but surely. I'm gonna sell the spite crusher. Um, let's see, how, what's the weight? The double axes are too heavy, the lollipops are too heavy, the fragment axe is too heavy, the large hammer is too heavy. Shoe 10 might be doable. Uh, the spear is definitely useful, we definitely want to keep the spear. And the place, plate mace has to go, like, I don't, we don't have anybody that can wield a 36 kilo plate mace. We won't have anybody capable of doing that for a long time, so... This is gonna go. It's fine. We're okay with that. That's a Katan 1 Katana. I wanna keep that around. Sell the stick. Yeah, alright. This is, this is decent. This is, this is very decent. So we're up to 71,000 uh, cats now, boys. 71,000. Cats. We have recruited. Well, we're up to two, four, six, eight people now. If we include our new recruit, Cyber Beep. Uh, next goal is to go back to the Black Desert City and get some more recruits over there. We should be able to get a couple more Scala recruits over there, which means good stuff. We don't need to feed them, you know. And then we're gonna start making our way back to uh, the border zone down here between border zone and swamp and start doing some real training and that's what we're gonna do on friday when the stream returns 
think that's... I think we've done well for today. I'm actually happy with how we've done today. Of course, we're gonna still need to escape this madness. But that's fine. Yes, I was actually looking for Sad Neo uh, when we were there, but he wasn't there. Whoa, Cyberbeat doesn't like people touching him. Interesting. Alright. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll definitely go back and see if we can get Sad Neil. Because we wanted to get him, I just couldn't find him. We did recruit Stag there. Uh, but there's a couple more recruits there that we can get, so we all know that. Uh, they're gonna be there, so we're gonna be getting them. Anyway, thank you everybody for being here. Really do appreciate it. I appreciate our first new channel member. And if you, anybody else want to become a channel member, you get a cool hat to show that you are a channel member and you get emotes that you can spam. And uh, the more people that become channel members, the more emotes we can get. And you guys, of course, also support me. That's all good. Mondays and Fridays are going to continue being Kench streams. Uh, and then I will slowly, that being next week, I will start putting in some extra videos. I got all kinds of stuff planned for the next four weeks. Uh, there's gonna be all kinds of new videos coming, so yeah. Also, First Nation, of course, Slippers. I would never want to forget your First Nation. Thank you, appreciate that a lot. Of course, of course, you know that. So yeah, uh, Mondays and Fridays are gonna keep on being country streams, and between then, uh, there's gonna be Project Zomboid, there's gonna be RimWorld, there's gonna be Star Sector, all kinds of good stuff. Also, some more extra Kenshi stuff. Thank you, everybody, for being here. If you didn't watch the whole stream, or if you didn't watch the first episode, they're all on YouTube over here, so you can always rewatch them. You can always go back and clip some funny stuff that you thought it was funny, and you can share on Discord so we can all laugh at it, or you guys can all laugh at me, and all that stuff. But for now, have a good day, have the good rest of the week till Friday, and uh, I will see you guys hopefully soon. Thank you for being here, and take care.